are four minutes away from Coda, which is my first time and I'm excited. Anyways, we are two minutes away from Coda. I'm excited. This is my first time going to Austin for a car meet with Drew. Someone hit the gas station. <gasps> Oh my lord, somebody was playing GTA a little too hard. <laughs> That's the gas station I've stopped at before. Oh cool, look, oh shit. Damn, all these people for the car meet? It show starts at 8 and there's already people here. We made it to Coda. There's a police. Drew's driving. Erratically, because I'm drunk. He wishes. What is up guys, Cars Across Texas here today and we are here in Austin, Circuit of the Americas for Austin Cars and Coffee. It is finally back. I love Cars and Coffee Austin because I think it's just the coolest venue to have a Cars and Coffee at a racetrack. I don't know, two plus two equals four and I think they hit that perfectly. Um, and uh, we're gonna get to it. There's already some pretty sick cars there. We're super early because I didn't realize how quickly we'd make it to Austin from Katy. Uh, but we're gonna check it out. Let me know what your favorite car in today's video is down in the comments below. If you really want me to get out more of Houston, and uh, see some other cities, show the support, share with the boys, leave me some likes, comments, all that good stuff. Let's get right into the video. We got a free shuttle to the actual car show. We got Melody not knowing what's going on. And we got some lima bean looking dudes over here. What the hell are those? Couch potatoes. Couch potatoes. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Got the yellow mop one. <laughs> Alright, you know, the first car we record has got to be a Big Wang Viper over here. Look at this thing. Looking so damn good. <clears throat> Got the big old wing out back. This thing's nice. Next to an Audi R8. Another member of the Big Wang gang, as you can see. It's a pretty crazy looking R8 at that. And then to round off the trio of the Big Wang Gang, we got the 570 over here with, again, quite a large dinner table out back. We got some classics over here for the boys. Little Huracan and an AMG over here looking super good as well. Look at the color on this old Mustang though. That is freaking nice, brother. With the Aura Blue Audi R8 rolling in as well. Looking super good. Of course, can't go wrong with that. I ain't, want to, I ain't seen one of these in a long time. We got a Mercedes SLR McLaren over here. One of the most baller looking vehicles on the road. You get the Mercedes looks, the doors that go up, and a supercharged V8 under the hood. But the Ronald McDonald spec on the NSX, that's pretty nice. Yellow with the red seats inside? Damn. So I think I'm moving this. We've got a wide body uh, Shaker Challenger Scat Pack over here. Looking good. I think the move is standing over here, getting them all rolling in. I do believe. We love this color on the EC7Z06. Little Long Beach Red. Look at this old truck, riding on the floor. Man, the fab work on this thing is nuts. Damn. Is it a Huracan Evo? Yes, sir, it is. Lamb chops. That's funny. Old school in the big wheels. Got a cool color on the 911. Of course, the Chevy SS. Looking mean as hell on the 1LE wheels. He's chopping up with some. Not overly loud, but very nice exhaust tone indeed. And then we got a crazy. Hold on. I'm gonna go. I can't really cut across anymore. I've done myself in with this one. Got a crazy race livery NSX over there, though. That looks pretty wild. We got a C4 with a wing. That's new. That's a first, followed by another C4. And a nice new uh, body style RS5. This thing looks crazy. <laughs> what the heck? This is wild looking. Got the Super Dupers rolling in. We got one, we got another one behind the old yellow Chevy truck. Got a Hellcat over yonder with a demon hood on. Got the F8 Tributo over here in the classic Ferrari spec red over tan. A little resale red action going on. Behind him is ZL1. 
And then look, it's like a Safari 911. Hell yeah, brother. We got a Safari 911 rolling in. Badass. Hell yeah, brother. Following him, we got the blue one, blue one, blue C8. Another really clean C8 as well, followed by a little TRX action. We got a G body, got the skinnies up front. Looking good. Very nice. Sounds pretty crazy too. What the hell? This, this is the first like lifted lightning I've seen. He's got Celine badges all over the place. Huh. Huh. Okay. We've got a CTSV rolling in over here with a crazy looking camo on. Okay. Sounded good too. Get a very nice blue RS6. I think if I were to get an RS6, this would be the spec right here. I think it's beautiful. God damn. We got a Celine Mustang again. And a GTR rolling in Big Wang Gang over here on the Advan GTs. Hi, hey, brother. I like to go. And he's got like the Varus kit on the back. It's like a super small uh, sort of detail, but you can see like right there on the rear fender, you got the Varus sort of uh, over fender thing. Drop top termy. Then we got some more GM boys coming in over here. Got the C6 Grand Sport rolling, a little bit, a little bit more tire on the back. Followed by Z011 LE. And what looks to be a C7 Grand Sport here on a little bead lock. Mm. This thing sounds mean as hell. This thing this guy chopping it up over here. Nice, my friend. Very nice. And you boys know how much I love the clean C6CR1. And this one is sounding really freaking good. Hey, girl. That's a, that's a funny Instagram. GT350 and SS1 LE following each other in, matching. Maybe they're boys, maybe they're homies. I don't know, but I really like the red on the 1 LE. Yellow C60, we love a clean C60. And then of course, a jet stream blue C60 on some cool wheels and an NSX. Love that. There's a lot of NSXs in Austin, damn. But can never forget the Gen 2 Viper. Looking so clean and so classy, the black on the brown. Looking and sounding relatively stock, but you can never go wrong with that. Maybe a little exhaust. I feel like V1s are underappreciated too. I like them. Little LS6 powered four door. Get another GTR rolling in over here. No crust on the tags. I hear a Pro Charger somewhere. Oh, it's that blue 6-gen uh, down there. Got a gold 6-gen here. But then, behind this incredibly clean Datsun, holy moly, this thing is immaculate. That thing is beautiful. Behind him, though, we got a Pro Charged 6-gen Z01. Sounded crazy. I wonder how much power this thing makes. Gen 4 Viper, Big Wang Gang, looking good. I love this color. Mm, that is nice. Follow him as a 997 Porsche. And what looks to be a McLaren 600 LT with the roof scoop. This is a oh, damn, this is a baller spec. He's got the Senna seats inside. Compensate. A very tastefully modified V2 CTSV. It's like a little Hennessy car by the badges. But then name a, name a more beautiful car. I'll wait. I don't think you can. Classic vet rolling through, looking perfect. Behind another beautiful car and the uh, slammed Bel Air. All right, we got a CTSV wagon, and uh, what, what's even cool in the wagon is uh, his plate's hilarious. Of course, you got the wagon, so it's like your grocery getter race car here. And we got HEB getter as the plate. That's hilarious. 
H-E-B, the grocery store, going to get the groceries at H-E-B in the V2 wagon. That's fantastic. A very tastefully modified Audi R8. I love the color. The wheels are nice. Paint match brakes. Mm. Austin really knows how to just be like tasteful with some stuff, man. There's some very just nice, nicely modified, like super clean builds, you know. I like it. That color on the Z01 is sick. And the wheels are also sick. Signature forged. Solid wheel choice, my friend. It looks good. It's the Star Wars Mustang again. We got the Joker Durango. That's a crazy wrap. That is insane looking. And then Allie's two favorites. It's literally Joker Durango, Nightmare Before Christmas Challenger. I know those are your two favorite, huh? Yeah, I just told you God damn! <laughs> that blow off is loud as hell. And we got a stinger on a drag pack? That's funky. Peaches! We got another very funny plate on a performance SUV. We got the SRT Grand Cherokee over here. Just grocery and the plate order is get her. It's funny. Get the SN95 Cobra as well. Melody is loving it. What's up, Stink? What you gotta say? What you gotta say for the people? Nothing? <laughs> is this Tesla like modified or gutted? What is this? <laughs> okay. Weight reduction, I guess? We'll get an absolutely stunning 458 here in dark gray on the HRE wheels. Fitment is on point on this one. Looks so good. And then next to him, of course, we got the F12 Berlinetta here. Once again, looks like he's on some HREs. Those are real nice. And then we got the AutoZam AZ1. A funny looking little Korean car, I believe. The doors go up. Over here we got a wide body Supra and the entire Rocket Bunny kit is carbon fiber. This is crazy looking. AJ, where you at, my brother? This is nuts. Carbon fiber Rocket Bunny kit on the Supra. Hmm. Got another McLaren over here. Little 12C looking good. I love this color. And then the wheels are pretty sick too. The leather's also like blue. It's kind of a funky touch, but I like it. I think it works really well. I mean, yes, they do have their issues, but I see these in the 50, 60,000 mile range all the time. Motor goes out, there's LS swap it. Why not? Got the old Porsche here looking good with the BMX bike mounted on top. Nice. Why is this color on this GTI like unnecessarily clean? Like that's really nice, actually. A little daily? I wouldn't mind it. Over here, we got a pretty wild looking GT3 here. Got the guards red, the purplish pink center lock wheels. And then you got the cup car wing out back, racing harnesses, and then a paint match to the wheels, roll cage. This is sick. And if you thought it didn't, it couldn't get any more crazy on this particular GT3, look at the bumper. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, it's a supercharged. Oh shit, every, every time I, I take a look at a different angle of this car, it gets crazier and crazier. Holy shit. Look at the V-Dub bus over here, Allie wants it. Get a little road trip going on, live out of this thing, I'm down. More houses are too expensive. Look at that Porsche down there, what the hell's going on? We must investigate. And I actually remember this dude. He was on the channel, actually rode in this car like three or so years ago. What in the world is going on with this Porsche? There's a whole lot of colors. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit, is this a Technica? Are these things yet? The spec is crazy. It's blue seats inside. Yeah, it's a freaking Technica, bro. I've never seen one of these yet. Oh my god, I didn't even realize these were like out yet. I thought these were still like a production concept. Ooh, 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 ooh. Get me this thumbnail real quick, brother. Yeah, there we go. Thumbnail o'clock. Let's get it, boys. This RX7 looks crazy. Forgive me, boys, for I know nothing of the Mazda platforms or the rotary platforms in general. But this thing looks insane. Big old wing out back, right hand drive. You got the full cage inside. This thing looks nuts. This engine bay looks nuts. That M3 is nice. Baby, what you doing? 
<laughs> the plate game in Austin is crazy. <laughs> you gotta get the puppies oh, yeah, for the I'm video. Right. Oh my you goodness. Right there. Hello, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so precious. Remote control six by six towing the remote control drift car. Amazing. And then a lifted Toyota van or truck thing, whatever the hell. We gotta get the puppies for the videos. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Hello. Say hi. <laughs> We got the Pac-Man Hyundai. This is fantastic. I love that. <laughs> All right, instead of writing your sponsor list, this is how I'm gonna start remembering the grocery list. We got eggs, milk, bananas, bread, ham, and pepper. Sponsoring the Civic build. Incredible. One of the more strange events of the morning, somebody hit the gas station over here and knocked, o knocked it over. I don't even know how that happens. They must have been hauling ass. You told me to report and say what comes to mind. This one here looks like it came out of your mom's jewelry box or your great grandma's jewelry box. That was hiding in the attic. But like, why does this car have more bling than I do? Drew don't even buy me jewelry. Sad. <laughs> Literally this car made us really good. Like, variety of everything. Pretty neat. Eagle Talon and an Eclipse. That's pretty cool. Don't know what a talent is, but that's Eclipse. cool. <laughs> you mean it. Cars are not my specialty. I love looking at them, but I don't know anything about them, if I'm being honest. He's on dad duty. Huh? Look at the GTR boys. Uh, yeah. One silver GTR, one gray GTR, and one white GTR. It's so freaking cute. By the way, I love Miatas. <laughs> it's like one project car that I want to buy one day. Okay, so Drew knows that I love Datsun, and this is the cutest Datsun I've seen. I've seen a couple, but I love this one. It just looks like so unspectacular that I didn't even realize it was a 400Z. <laughs> cool. These two, right? It's funny, this is, I think, your first time seeing them, right? I've seen like one or two. But I saw yeah, one before you, you though. Like Cypress cars and coffee. Yeah, you did. Nah, bro, I saw one before you. Sure did. I'm before you. There are a lot of people still coming in, though. Oh, Lord. <laughs> That's funny, it's a Mini Cooper. Where is that from? I mean, smart. They literally have these cones in these paths. Oh, look, there goes a the Viper. That's so beautiful. Zero drama was his place. I love it. But he's bought the Supra from AutoNation. I could have sold it to him. And the Supra's got the bike. Of course, we got to get more of the puppies. Hello, my friend. Hello. Hi. <laughs> um, this is a rig right here. Looks like he's been beating it off-road, though. Got the Tudor Bronco on a crazy wheel and tire setup. But look at this trailer here on an equally crazy wheel and tire setup to make sure it's high enough to get that hitch. Got the tent up top. I love it. Oh, <laughs> I love it. We got Bigfoot back here. <laughs> Got the boys rolling out and see what Austin's got. I don't think they're really gonna do too much here because there's cops like literally everywhere, but you know, we'll see. 